a very pleasant morning to you my dear children hope all of you are safe at home due to this pandemic situation we know that regular classes are not at all possible that's why we changed we shifted into online classes right but we know that every crisis is an opportunity so here also we are using this opportunity a best one by knowing more about technologies all right so here we are going to start our chemistry lessons the first chapter in chemistry that we are going to take is fiber to fabric okay so in this chapter we are going to discuss how we can change a fiber into a fabric a cloth okay so here we are going to start and discuss in the lesson how can we change a fiber into a fabric what is a fiber a material which is available in in the form of thin and continuous strand is called fiber what is it a material which is available in the form of thin and continuous strand okay so fiber is very thin and it is a continuous strand okay strand okay. fibers are of two different types okay one is natural fiber and the other one is man made or artificial or synthetic fibers okay so natural fibers are of again two different types that means uh, the fibers that are originated from plants and also from animals okay so the fibers that originated from plants examples are cotton linen jute etc so you learned this in lower classes right here another type of natural fiber is which are originated from animals okay example wool and silk okay now here man made or artificial fibers examples nylon okay rayon polyester acrylic these are the examples of uh, artificial or synthetic type of fibers all right so in this class in class 7 we are going to study about animal fibers that are wool and silk how we can obtain wool and how can we knit that into a fabric and how can we obtain silk threads and how can we knit that into a silk cloth that we are going to study in detail in this chapter and one more point that you already uh, learned in previous classes i just want to discuss that how to uh, differentiate between artificial and natural fibers for example you got two different types of clothes and you are asked to find out which one is natural or which one is made with natural fiber and which one is made with artificial fiber how can you find out a very simple test is just heat it so that it will start to melt okay try to make that cloth into a ball shape so if it is artificial one it will make a single ball and you will not be able to separate it separate that into smaller pieces okay but uh, natural fibers if you make that into uh, a ball small ball then also you can again you can make into more simpler pieces okay that is a very simple experiment that you can conduct to find out whether the given uh, fabric or cloth is artificial or natural right now we are going to discuss about animal fibers the first among that one is wool okay now let us think about some wool yielding animals the animals they provide us wool right okay now some Uh, let us write some try to write some examples on the board okay we know sheep okay one of the example that give us wool then goats different types of goats are there for example angora goats are there angora goats angora goats are there uh, kashmiri goats are there kashmiri goats 
okay kashmiri gods are there then uh, yak yak is another animal which give us food uh, next one is alpaca and llama from south america uh, these animals are not familiar for us but in south america you can see a lot of such type of animals llama llama and alpaca alpaca are some of the animals mean like similar to sheep they are uh, providing us wool okay now here these type of animals these wool yielding animals are covered their body is covered with a thick layer of uh, uh, hair isn't it so usually they are living in very cold countries right for example sheep yak llama alpaca etc they are living in very cold climate so thick hair on their body is actually an adaptation for them so what happens if a, if an animal is having thick hair on uh, on its body so we know that this thick hair will trap a lot of heat energy and as air is a poor conductor of uh, heat what will happen they will feel warm every time even in cold climate also they feel warm right that is why their body is covered with a thick layer of fur okay that's an adaptation for those animals now here see different types of animals i wrote on the board you can check the pictures of these animals in internet okay so you will get a clear idea about what is llama alpaca yak etc right okay now here we know different from different types of animals we are getting different types of wool for example angora from angora gods we are getting a wool called mohair okay so what is the name of the wool obtained from angora goat it is mohair right and kashmiri goats give us pashmina pashmina is a beautiful uh, wool very soft wool okay very soft wool obtained from uh, kashmiri goats right all right now these are the examples of wool yielding animals in the body of a wool yielding animal there are two different types of wool are found or fur are found hair are found right so what are they for example uh, in the body of sheep okay you can see two different types of uh, fur okay one is very coarse bare hair coarse means hard okay so here two different for example in sheep's body two different types of fur is found one is coarse i mean hard beard hair okay and also fine or very smooth under hair which is near to their near to their skin two different types of fur so in our body also if you touch the hair on our hand or arm it is soft compared to the hair on our head right same like in a sheep's uh, body there are two different types of fur are there one is coarse beard hair okay and the other one is fine under hair near to their skin okay now you know that for making wool for making a fabric which one do you prefer definitely a smooth one do you like a blanket which is made with a very coarse hair never right so we prefer or the i mean uh, the the people who make uh, wool they prefer fine under hair near to their skin so they need some breeds of sheep which has full in, in their full of their body fine hair isn't it so if full of their body is fine hair what will happen so it is a very profitable for them right so that process i mean uh, making what uh, making the sheep having fine under hair near to the skin is also possible 
For that, we have to choose the parents. Those are having fine under here. The process of selecting parents to obtain some special characteristics in their uh, offsprings or they, in their babies is called selective breeding. Okay. What is selective breeding? Selective What is selective breeding? Selective breeding is the process of selecting parents to uh, get some special characteristics in their babies such as fine hair. Did you understand? So that process is called selective breeding. By selective breeding we can obtain uh, sheep which are having very fine or smooth hair. Alright. Alright. Hope you understood what is selective breeding. Right. Now today I just started. In the coming classes we will discuss more about uh, the wool uh, processing of wool. Uh, so today's after today's class I just want to give you an activity that collect uh, some pictures of wool yielding animals and stick the, those pictures in your notebook okay so today we discussed about selective breeding uh, examples of wool yielding animals uh, etc right different types of hair uh, etc so today's class is over in the next class we will continue with the process of uh, making the fur the fur of animal into wool okay so have a nice day thank you